And in our top business story, Nikhil has announced that it made a net profit of 2.95 billion dirhams in the first six months of the year. The H1 figures for the property group have registered a 4% increase on the net profit of 2.83 billion dirhams in the same period last year. According to a company statement, the handover of over 1,177 units to customers with its retail, residential, leasing and hospitality businesses all performing strongly have contributed to the H1 results, which are in line with the company's forecast. Nikhil reached a number of milestones during the first half of the year, including the opening of Dragon Mart 2 and the first of a series of expansions at Ibn Battuta Mall. Combined, these increased Nikhil's existing retail portfolio by 35%, bringing the current operational total to 4.2 million square foot. It also opened its first hotel, which is a 251-room property attached to Dragon Mart 2. It's also managed by Accor during H1. The company also said that they are on target to officially open new neighbourhood community centres known as Nikhil Pavilions at International City, Alpha Jan and Jumeirah Islands in the second half of the year. The Etisalat Group has also reported a consolidated net profit of 2.3 billion dirhams for the second quarter of 2016. That's a 51% year-on-year -year rise. According to a press statement from the Telecom Group, the increase in profit is attributed to lower finance costs, incurring Forex gain during the period as compared to Forex loss in the same period last year. Lower federal royalty and lower share of results from associates and discontinued operations. Revenues stood at 13.3 billion dirhams, a 2% increase year on year, while the subscriber base rose 1% year on year to 163 million. Consolidated capital spending decreased by 17% to 1.8 billion dirhams. The company reported that consolidated EBITDA totaled 6.8 billion dirhams, resulting in a margin of 51%. The distribution of interim dividends for the first half of the fiscal year was 40 fills per share. In the UAE, EBITDA in the second quarter was 4.3 billion dirhams, increasing year on year by 3%, leading to a margin of 56%. Credit ratings agency Standard & Poor's and Moody's affirmed Etisalat Group's high credit rating of AA3. And Aramex has reported that its net profit also increased by 36% to 125.7 million dirhams during H1 this year, up from 92.5 million dirhams in Q2 2015. Aramex's half-year revenues increased year-on-year year to 2,134 million dirhams, up 15% compared to the corresponding period of 2015. Net profits during the same period rose to 222.5 million dirhams, up from 179.2 million in H1 last year. That's an, an increase year-on-year year of 24%. Overall net profits registered double-digit growth impacted by a one-time fair value adjustment related to Aramex's investment in AMC Logistics joint venture in Egypt, amounting to 41.6 million dirhams. According to the company's press statement, the performance was driven by growth across most of its geographies. Western Union and Do have signed a collaboration agreement launching the MyWu Do Loyalty Card Initiative and offering attractive rewards, discounts on international money at remittances and international calling benefits to the working community in the UAE. At a press conference held in Dubai on Wednesday, it was revealed that the My Western Union My Woo Loyalty Card Initiative is tailor-made for the working community in the country and will benefit users by offering them reward points on every international money transfer, while also giving up to 10 free international minutes. Officials also mentioned that the launch of the loyalty card is the only first of many such initiatives set to be rolled out under their long-standing collaboration agreement. And they are hopeful that this will bring greater value to their mutual customer base in the future. 
As nearly 2 billion people around the globe are currently underserved and need to be financially included, representatives of Western Union stressed that through this social welfare initiative, they will be able to make a positive impact on the lives of many workers in the country who often send their money back home and also call back home on a regular basis. Two officials highlighted that the loyalty card is designed especially for their Allo prepaid users, and it comes bundled with their Allo prepaid SIM packs, which are readily available across the UAE. When you are underbanked or underserved, this keeps you out of that financial system, and uh, no good outcome can result from that. So Western Union always tries to make sure that it it's, uh, thrives for financial inclusion to get those people into the financial system, to make them benefit from the financial system, and that at the same time they, they become a player in that financial system. Uh, here in the UAE, with this new partnership that we have launched with, uh, with DO, it is important to say that uh, all the target audience that we are after, all those blue-collar workers that we are after, are going to enjoy uh, discounts on the uh, transfer fees when they use uh, that card and at the same time they are going to uh, uh, enjoy additional calling uh, time uh, minutes into their home country. So it's a win-win situation. You win when you call, you win when you send money and this is what the partnership is all about. I think it is really offering a benefit, offering convenience to a certain category of our customers. Since uh, we started, uh, since inception, we have a, spe a special relationship with the labor community. We have had specific product to them, we have had specific channels to reach them, we have had specific activities, uh, be it in the labor camps or other places where uh, uh, they exist. And this is something we're very proud of. And we have really this uh, bonding relation with, with this community. This is in the continuation, offering convenience, offering a plus, offering a benefit in something that they do really because they are transferring money and this connection home is not only by just calling making calls or using minutes or just being connected to home is as well by sending money is as well by caring about the people back home etc so this is the entire spirit that created this partnership